we have the graph representation of LDPC codes. And now we're going to see how to define a decoder based on the graph. And these decoders are so-called message passing decoders. And before we go into the flash of message passing decoders, we're going to look at a simple introductory example and this define the main idea of message passing decoders. So a message passing decoder is a decoder that passes messages along the edges of the tenor graph. And then we have the nodes of the tenor graph and the nodes, they are little computing devices. So each variable node of degree dv calculates messages for each of the outgoing nest edges. So it has sockets and in these sockets, we calculate messages and pass those messages along the sockets towards the check nodes. The check node takes these messages and they compute for each of the outgoing edges, again, new messages. And then we repeat this procedure until either we have finished a certain number of iterations back and passing back and forth, or until we have recovered our code word successfully, which we can double check. And this is something we're going to see how to do this. So as I said, we're going to use or look at an introductory example. And this is soldier counting. So the soldier counting is a toy example. And that's the idea is you have an army and you want to know how many soldiers are in your army. And you put the soldiers in a line and you I want to count the soldiers. But you don't want somebody counting um, because they can make errors, but you want the soldiers to count themselves. And you have a simple algorithm. The algorithm is, uh, is the following. So if you are this front soldier, so if you are the front of the line, if nobody's standing in front of you, you turn back and you tell the guy behind you, I'm number one. So you tell him a one. And if you are the rearmost soldier in the line, so if you look at behind you, there is nobody there. Then you tap the guy in front of you on the shoulder, and then you say, hey, number one. So you say number one to the soldier in front of you. And now you listen to messages. So if a soldier turns and tells you a number, so either he's ahead of you or he's behind you, if he tells you a number, then you add one to it and you pass this message forward to the next one in the line, either behind you or in front of you. So the guy ahead of you tells you the number, you add one to it, then you turn around and you tell the guy behind you this number plus one. So here's an example. So this guy um, has that's the front of the line, so he tells one to the second guy. The second guy receives a one, so he adds one to it, and then he passes on the message two to the next guy in line. This guy takes a two, adds one to it, and passes on the message. This guy in line three, and so on. And then you go from behind. So this guy is the last one in line. There's nobody behind him. So he adds, takes a one. He says one to the guy in front of him. This guy adds one with and pass it two to the guy in front of him. This guy adds one, passes three to the guy in front of him. And now everybody in the line knows the number of soldiers because you get two messages. The first message you get is from the guy in front of you, tell you how many soldiers are in front of me. And then you get a message from the guy behind you, telling how many soldiers are behind me. So assume this is the commander. He gets a message one, so he knows there's one guy behind me, and he gets a message three, so he knows there are three guys in front of me, and then the total number is three plus one plus myself, so we have five soldiers. So that's how you can count the number of soldiers. Now, even though they are soldiers and they are used to some drill, they may not be able to stand in a nice line, so they may be scattered somewhere in the space. And if they are scattered, then we can uh, 
um, also use this, this approach, but we use a different algorithm. So the algorithm that we're going to use is the following. So you count the number of neighbors n. And then you keep track of the number of messages you have received from the neighbors. So you know how many neighbors are around you. And by neighbors, we mean there is a line connecting you to the other guy. So you, you can hear what this guy can tell you. So you're in the neighborhood of this guy. And we assume that we have a graph and they are connected. So you keep track. Everybody knows how many neighbors he has. So this guy has one, two, three neighbors. This guy has one, two, three neighbors. Um, this guy has one, two neighbors. This guy has only a single neighbor and so on. So you know how many number of neighbors you have. This is given by the graph. Then what you do is you keep track of the number of messages that you have received from the neighbors. The neighbors, they tell you some messages and um, you tell those messages V1, V2 and Vm and you calculate the sum of those messages, the total number of the messages you have received. So now if you have received n minus one messages, so n neighbors, and you have received n minus one messages, you identify the neighbor who has not yet received a message or who has not sent you a message, he may have received one, he has not sent you a message. And you tell him this number V plus one. So V is the number of messages you get from all the other soldiers plus one for yourself. And that's what you tell the guy who has not sent you a message yet. He gets V plus one. Then um, if you have received the total number of N messages, then you know the number of soldiers. So then V plus one is the total number of soldiers. And what you can then do is you can also say V plus one minus VN to neighbor N. So if you may, may happen that your neighbor has not yet the total number of soldiers or he may pass it on. So you say the number of soldiers that this guy neighbor N sees is V plus one minus VN because VN is the message he has already sent me. So he knows how many soldiers are in his neighborhood. So I don't need to pass this information to him. So you say this number, and this is important, V plus one minus VN. And this is what we call an extrinsic message. And extrinsic means we exclude the message that we already have received from this guy because this is some information that he knows. So we don't need to include it further. We need to include it what we get from everybody else. And that's what we're going to include to the guy who has sent us this message. Because the guy who has sent the message, he knows VN. He doesn't need to know VN anymore because he has sent us VN. He needs to know the rest. So we send him V plus one minus VN. Okay, so let's do this with an example. So how do we get started? Well, we need to identify the guy who have a neighborhood of n equals one. Because they, if n equals one, they will start the process. Because they have received zero messages. They have received zero messages. They have one neighbor who has not sent you a message and they can tell him V plus one. V obviously is zero because there is nothing to add. So they tell them uh, one. So let's pause for a moment here and try to do this for yourself. See if you can come up with the number of messages that, for instance, the commander or Jim knows how many soldiers there are. Okay, so you may have your solution. So let's do it um, by ourselves. So this guy, he has a neighborhood of uh, one. So he sends a message one to this guy. Similar, those guys at the leaves of the graph, they send a message of one. 
actually trigger off with quite a few messages. Okay. So now we can let, look at this guy as a neighborhood of three and he has received two messages already. So he builds the sum and he says v is equal to two. And he will send a message of three to this guy, v plus one. Now this guy, he has one, three. So he receives one, three. So he calculates v of four and he passes a message of five to this guy. This guy receives a five. That's the only message he receives. And he adds one and he sends six to this guy. This guy sends a seven over here. Now the commander has not yet received, he has not yet received uh, enough messages, so he needs to wait. So this guy, one, one, and he sends a three. This guy also sends a three to the commander. So now the commander, he knows that there are seven. So he knows that there are seven plus three plus three plus one soldiers. So this is equal to 14 soldiers. So now the commander can also send a message so he can continue this process. So this, he has received messages and from all neighbors. So now he can send his extrinsic messages so he has received messages from all the neighbors. So now he could send a message here. That is V plus one minus VN. So V is equal to um, 13. That's the sum of the other messages. What he will send is 13 plus one minus seven. So he's going to send seven over there. He's going to send 13 plus 1 minus 3. So he's going to send 11 over here. And he's going to send 11 over here. Now this guy will send... Um, so this guy receives 11 plus 1 plus 1. So he calculates a total V of 13. And he will send then 13 plus 1 minus Vn. So we will send 13 to this guy. We also send 13 to this guy. And so on. So this guy receives 11 plus 1 plus 1. So we will also send 13 to this guy. We will send 13 to this guy. Now let's take a look at this guy. He receives 7 plus 6, 7 from here and 6. So he knows V is equal to 13. He knows that there are 14 soldiers. And now he sends V equals 13 plus 1 minus 6. So let's say this guy has V equals 13 plus 1 equals 14, minus 6, he sends an 8 to this message, to this guy. This guy receives an 8 from this side, he receives, sends a 7 to this guy. Now this guy receives, now 7 plus 1 plus 3. Um, so he has, uh, let's see, um, sorry, he doesn't send 7. This was a mistake from my side. He, of course, sends a 9. So this guy receives 9, 1, and 3. So he calculates a V of 13. And he will send um, 13 plus 1 minus 1. So he sends a 13 over there. And he will send a um, v plus 1, 14 minus 3, so we'll send 11 over there, 
and then this guy will send 13 over here and 13 over there. So now we have spread all the messages. And every guy in the line knows how many soldiers there are. By sending this, all the messages and sending also the extrinsic messages back, now everybody knows how many soldiers we have. All right, so soldier counting works very nicely. Now we have a drawback. So the drawback is um, if there are cycles, it will not work. So if you put cycles in the graph, if the graph has cycles, it will just not work. You can try to do it and you will see that the numbers keep on increasing because of the cycles. We can quickly start doing it. So here we send one. Let's use the green color to be in line with the previous picture. And we send one. We send one. Now this guy cannot send anything. So here we send, send one. This guy cannot send anything, so we need to send one. We need to send one. And we see that even now it just doesn't work because we don't have enough messages even to trigger the process. So we cannot continue with our algorithm. It just doesn't work. So we could, for instance, remove one of the edges over here. Let's see what, what we get there. So here, this guy will send a two, this guy will send a one, this guy will send a two, then we have two plus one, three, we send a four, this guy's four plus one, five, this guy will send a six, seven, and now this guy cannot send messages, this guy cannot send the messages, so it again doesn't work because we're getting into this cycle. So with, if we have cycles, it doesn't work. And if you manage to get some information inside the cycle, then the numbers will just keep increasing. So in this case, it doesn't work. So this message passing algorithms, they work if we don't have cycles. If we have cycles, they are not exact anymore. And that's the same thing that's going to happen later on with our decoding algorithms. So with this, we have an introductory example of message passing. And now we need to lay some groundwork for defining the message passing decoders for LEPC codes. And these are representations of probabilities and bits that we are going to calculate. With. And this is going to be done in the next video.